What is up, guys and girls and all? That I'm between here today. Quick tutorial video and uh, helping you out with your game performance in Ranch Sim and pretty much any game, really. If you're noticing you're having issues with your FPS is dropping, there's some slight lag happening, or it's freezing up, and you don't really know why. You may have a really good graphics card, or you just have a really good rig in general, and your settings aren't that high, but you're still having, um, um, you know issues with lag and, and frame rate. I'm going to show you how that how, how does it fix that and what, what causes that low frame rate and that lag. The main thing in this game is the animals. Uh, more than a dozen cows, chickens, pigs, especially you can get up a lot of chickens going after a while they can just build up, build up. More, I would say you want no more than 15 to 20 animals on your entire save because uh, any more than that, the game is just not built to handle that. It's just not built. It's still very early access. Now we're getting the upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 coming up uh, about six months or so, six to nine months. So hopefully that can help fix a lot of those issues. But that's when the main problem is going to cause a lot of lag on your server. The second problem is your buildings. I found it's weird enough. If you have all of your buildings connected or if you build one building central location, it can help your frame rate a lot. Building separate buildings, I've seen, I've been to a lot of ranch tours, a, a lot of uh, other people saves, and one of the things I noticed is the ranches with the most individual buildings have the lowest frame rate and the most lag, while the, the ranches with the one or two big buildings that are all connected in the same structure, a lot better frame rate, a lot better, a uh, lot better performance. And I can still run higher graphics and get some really nice shots for those uh, ranch tour videos. So that's one thing I've noticed as well. Uh, third thing you can do to help with your um, um, uh, getting better frame rate is, of course, lowering your settings. Uh, everybody knows about this. You go to your um, video here. You can lower. Right now, my uh, stuff's at pretty high, and it, I can I got a max that at 30 FPS because when you're recording, you have to record at 30 FPS. Uh, so I can probably bring it up to 144. Let's see what happens if I do that. Apply. 84, 83, running at 80. I'm running. I can run it because because I do have a pretty big building. Ooh, that's kind of smooth right there. But uh, it's gonna look very blurry for you guys. It looks really smooth and nice for me, but it's been blurry. I'm gonna change it back because it's gonna be blurry for y'all right there. So I'm gonna change it back to 30. Apply that. But you see, as my current settings, which is all pretty high, I can run at 80. I have an RTX 2070, so in my priority, pro priority right now is set to medium for this game, for the uh, settings, which I'm getting to that next. That's the next thing you can do to help boost your um, uh, your, your graphics, not just your graphics, but your performance in the game. And this, is, this setting here is for any game. I don't recommend doing this a lot, only with games that are having, that need more um, juice, uh, the best way to explain that. Uh, we're gonna go to, we're new to get to that. Go to right click, go to your, um, uh, pull up your toolbar down here at the bottom. Right click on that. Hit task manager. Go to details. Now, I'm going to, um, um, go look down for ranch sim. If it's running, uh, ranch simulator. There it is. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna hit set priority. Now, I'm not gonna put it on high or real time. Those can kill your CPU and your memory. You don't want to do that unless, you, unless you've got some big ass water cooled uh, five grand rig, which I still wouldn't risk it because it's a five grand rig. Um, mine is only two thousand dollar rig, so it's, I'm not no, I'm not doing anything other than I'm gonna put um, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with the FPS here. I'm gonna put above normal. Yeah, change priority. Let's see what happens with the FPS when I try to change it back to max it out to 144. Apply 76, 78, see if it goes up higher than that. 83, 86, 85, 87, 77, 80. It didn't really affect the FPS that much. But to me, it's going to be able to handle the. Um, um, if you're running multiplayer, I highly suggest that you increase your priority because um, with that, with. Um, with multiplayer, how multiplayer in this game works in a lot of these smaller games, uh, to where it wasn't really, you know, the multiplayer aspect wasn't really that, I guess, a main factor. Uh, it runs off the host memory, so you're pretty much playing the game for you and your uh, people who are joining on your on on your save. 
you're having to run the memory for them too. So they might have great FPS when they log in, but yours is going to tank a little bit. So make sure you lower your settings and you increase the priority for your game on your memory. You know, take on that extra load of the other players. The last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, inanimate objects in Ranch Sim, uh, whether it be logs, planks, uh, random deer carcasses laying around, uh, any individual object laying there, uh, especially when it's not been snapped to the ground. Like logs, if you snap them, they'll be alright. Planks, you can snap them, it'll be fine. Like, I mean snap, I mean pick it up, right click, and set it down. You know, to snap to that spot. That is fine, that is considered a structure at that point. It is a part of whatever it's attached to. Now, if it's, if it's letting go on its own, running on its own graphics, I mean not graphics, its own, um, uh, What's the word I'm looking for here? It's on physics. Uh, that's that's going to tank your FPS. And having them stretched around all across your map, logs, all this. Like right now, I probably can get 144 FPS, but I've got a stack of logs over here that is probably affecting that right now. I mean, I haven't it hasn't really affected my 30 FPS. That's why I haven't really bothered with it, uh, getting it cleaned up as much. But I promise you, if I cleaned all this mess up and got rid of all the deer carcasses on my save. It would clean. I would get. I can get that 144. I was going for easy. Um, I'm not lower a couple of settings, but yeah. So that is that's one thing that's going to tank your um uh, your stuff. Clean up your log. Clean up your mess. Those will cause some serious cause some serious FPS drops and some lag because your game is having to register each individual piece as its own thing that has its own gravity and its own physics. So yeah, keep an eye on that. That will hurt your performance as well. But another thing I want to say is the one animal that will hurt your FPS the most is going to be chickens because it's usually the most of them. They're in one area and they're constantly colliding with things. They die a lot and like one or two of the pins, they tend to die very easy. They get stuck. So one thing and also if you try to put a lot of animals in a small area where they're colliding with things and affecting the physics of the game will also affect your FPS. One thing you want to have for your animals, uh, not just because it makes it easier, but it helps with the quality of your uh, the, uh, the physics um, with less issues with cl collisions and things like that. It's having your cows in each of their own little pens like this. It's really helped out compared to my last uh, my last save before I got corrupted. Um, I had my cows you know, big up in pen. They were hitting things, running into each other, and then when I closed them in each individual like this, the FPS helped a lot. Uh, one thing I can say is that to prevent you from having any corruption issues when it comes to your FPS. Where it's unsalvageable, like my other save, which we'll go into right now, and I'll show you that. But also, with um, uh, this game, this one save has been loading now for about almost 30 40 seconds. Usually, these saves usually take uh, about maybe 20 seconds to load. This one is so well, so far off. Uh, for me doing this one thing, it takes almost two or three minutes to load. As you can see, the FPS counter, and you can see from the shuttering happening right now. We're at 70 FPS. Um, I can I got my settings. I can lower these down a little bit here. We'll actually put all this on low. Apply. And we're oh, still only at 7 FPS. Um, reason why this is. This is the save I had. The giant tower I built in. Um, if some of y'all remember this. And I had tried to demolish most of it. See if I can uh, help it. And it did not help at all. Uh, the tower was huge. Um, and it destroyed the FPS, and there was horrible lag. On top of that, we were playing around, we were having some fun with, in the stream. I pulled up a cheat trainer, uh, engine, and we were playing around making ourselves, like, giants, and, like, flying around, a bunch of crazy stuff, and ever since then, it's just gotten worse and worse, and this file is more or less almost corrupted, and, and this does not run. So, if you ever, if you're using a, uh, trainer, don't use it as much as possible. I mean, I really wouldn't use it for anything that changes your character's size. I have a trainer for mostly for games when I play uh, myself or city survival, like survival, uh, city, city builder survival games where there's a learning curve. I have a work schedule. I have a schedule I spend most of my time on YouTube. So if I play one of those games to relax, I like to have, I like to be able to fix a mistake that I make. Because when you, those kind of games, you know, you're playing, I'm sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to justify for having a cheat engine here. But when I'm playing a game that takes, you spend two or three days on, you make one mistake early game and you're pretty much ruined, I'll use that engine, that trainer for that. 
to fix that mistake so I don't have to start all over. I've learned from this mistake, I just gotta fix it and then use the shooting engine. That's what they're great for. Um, and for being creative and having fun. But for when it comes to ranch, ranch sim, I don't use it for anything. Except when we were having fun in a stream one time and it kind of messed everything up. But yeah, um, let me, me, me get back to the main menu here. This is giving me. A yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. I hope this helps y'all out. I know it's. it's there's a lot of stuff you've probably heard before. A lot of this information I've gotten from over time uh, playing the game and having issues myself and uh, talking with other players and things they figured out. So there's a few people that gave me some hints about like the, uh, someone told me about the uh, the thing with the task manager being able to increase the priority for your game. I can't remember who that was, but someone told me about that. I think it was a YouTube comment or a Discord comment. I can't remember. Like a few weeks ago, and I noticed it's been a lot easier. I use that for now for editing. It makes editing so much easier. And now with the new RAM, everything runs a lot smoother as well. So uh, I was maybe before getting maybe three frames per second on that last save. I was surprised I was getting close to 10 on that. I really am. But yeah, guys, I hope, I, like I said, I hope this helped you out. If it did, if it did make sure y'all squished that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And slap some notifications for all future videos coming, coming out just like this one. And guys, come check out the other videos. I do, ranch, I do a lot of Ranch Gym tutorials. A lot of uh, Ranch Gym. I do a couple of different series-based stuff. I do something called ranch tours where I go to other people's uh, worlds and they uh, they show me around, show me their way they do things, how they make money, and on their builds and things like that. So that's a pretty fun thing to do. So if you want to have your ranch tour, let me know in the comments below. Come check out the Misa Gaming Discord and join in there. And come have fun there. And uh, guys, y'all, y'all have an awesome day.